Hey folks, Mandic really here. I'm here at my streaming setup because I've got a video I just want to get done real quick for you folks, something I've been meaning to make for a while. I made a video some time ago called the uh, cheapest NVMe SSD enclosure on Amazon. At least it was at the time, and that was this SSK NVMe enclosure right here. The most common comment that I've gotten on that video is people who pick this thing up and then their computer doesn't recognize the drive inside of it. It's a really simple reason that this is happening. I've got a brand new Crucial P2 500 gigabyte NVMe SSD here that I'm gonna put into here and I'm gonna show you how to fix this problem for yourself. So while I'm getting this thing installed here, let me tell you why this is happening to people. The main reason this is happening is because when you put a brand new drive in there, it's not formatted. And that's basically the reason that you're having this problem. Your system cannot read the drive because well, there's nothing to read. It's an unallocated volume. Now, previously I did a better job of showing how this thing goes together, breaking down the whole ins and outs of this thing, and testing the speed of it when I did the full review that you can check out at the link up here right now. All right, I have the 500 gigabyte Crucial Drive inside of here now, and now it's time to plug this thing into the computer and then see that I can't see the drive. So I have this drive plugged into the front panel USB-C connector on my Lian Li PC-011 Dynamic XL. And right here in my list of drives that I have on the system, Everything that is there, I do have a lot of drives, but that's all either drives are actually in my system or plugged into back panel connectors, external drives and all that. This is a video editing workstation, so I've got a lot of storage stuff connected to it. None of these are that new drive that I just installed in the SSK. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the start menu. I'm gonna go to disk MGMT, D-I-S-K-M-G-M-T. That'll allow me to run the disk management software that Windows has built into it. You must initialize local disk. It automatically popped up telling me that I had one non-partitioned, non-formatted drive. That doesn't always happen. So I'm just gonna close that. I'm gonna show you how to get around it if that doesn't happen. So now that I'm here just in the basic disk management program, what I'm looking for is one of the unallocated drives. Now you can see disk zero here, which is my C drive has 729 megabytes of unallocated space. That's the black bar. The blue bar is the allocated or the formatted space. And all of that is accounted for in all of these drives that I have connected to the system. What we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll down this menu and at the very bottom I have disk 10 and that is entirely black. That's about 465 gigabytes of space that is unallocated or unformatted. And that is the one that we are looking for here because that's a 500 gigabyte drive that I just installed in that enclosure. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the disk 10 itself, not on the big volume section, all the way to the left, right click on that and initialize disk. Now I'm going to, I can choose between MBR, master boot record or GPT uh, for my partition table. I'm going to go with GPT because this is not a boot drive in any way, shape or form. It's meant to be an external drive. Click OK and it's just going to go ahead and start initializing that drive. Cool. It's initialized. It's ready. Now I can right click on the actual volume here. When I click on it, you see how it's lined through it, showing me that that's the drive that I'm working with. I'm gonna right click on it, new simple volume, work my way through this whole configurator here. If I wanted to, I could partition this into multiple partitions. For an external drive, I have no reason to do that personally. I can assign it a drive letter, and then I can assign it a new volume name. Currently, it's just named new volume. I'm gonna name it the SSK 500 gigabyte. And then I just click finish, and it'll format that drive. Currently, it is formatting. And there we go. That drive is now formatted and I can actually use it. Let me go ahead and show you. And now here in my folder, I've got the H drive SSK 500 gigabyte. Open it up, it's empty. It's there. Let me throw a file on it just to show you that it's fully functional. Let's grab a completed video project, uh, should be a decent size. Let's go with my 3080 install video that I did for my workstation recently. Yes, I did put a 3080 in my workstation. If you wanna know how well I like it, check that video out at the link directly above my head. Transferring that file over there, wow. Eh, could be faster, but we're hitting about 500 megabytes per second, so I'm not gonna complain about that. Just That was like a four gigabyte, yeah, a 4.6 gigabyte file just transferred that quickly. This is an excellent drive for transferring files back and forth between editors or between collaborators. My roommate and I collaborate on video projects all the time. And having a drive like this that I can go ahead and transfer files from him to me back and forth so easily, ah, 
I just love having these things around. And for how affordable they are for a decent NVMe drive and this enclosure, it's a lot more affordable than some other things like even the Samsung T7 drives that are out there now. And that's it, folks. That is how you get an unrecognized external drive to work on your system. I hope this helped out and answered some of those questions. I was trying to answer those comments as they were coming in, but doing a dedicated video just made far more sense in my eyes. All right, folks, I hope you found this interesting. If you did, please go ahead and drop it a like. Let me know in the comments down below. Was this helpful to you? Go ahead and get subscribed to keep up to date with all my tech videos. I got some more stuff coming, more 3D printer things, especially coming in the near future. So thanks for coming around, folks.